Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sagar Sahu and welcome to Bed Surgery Teach. So today we will be discussing the other injectable anesthetics other than the barbiturates. So I have named this topic as non-barbiturates. Okay. So let us start. Okay. Uh, remember in this class we will be studying the propofol etomidate and the alpha -xylan. okay apart from these three there are many other injectable anesthetics but they are not so commonly used or they are not routinely used like chloral hydrate magnesium sulfate and urethane okay so if you are interested in reading them also you can read it from the long band jones veterinary anesthesia and allergesia but the common three which are still used or routinely used uh, the propofol, the etomidate and the alpha we will study in this class. Okay. So, let us start our class. First one is the propofol. Before going to the topic, you might have heard about TIBHA. Okay. TIBHA. T-I-B-A. Total intravenous anesthesia. Many times when someone asks you about TIBHA, so what is TIBHA? You generally tell that propofol. The example of TIBHA is propofol. But remember, the concept of TIBHA is total intravenous anesthesia. If you will refer to the box, the uh, definition of the TIBHA is attending the state of general anesthesia by injectable drugs only. Okay. So, if someone tells what is TIBHA, then remember the definition. Tell the definition. Not only propofol, the barbiturates can also be TIBHA because they are all injectable drugs and they are given intravenously and the state of anesthesia are maintained throughout to, uh, through intravenous administration only. Okay? So, remember this concept. The TIBHA does not mean only propofol. It is the attending the state of anesthesia by injectable drugs only. The first uh, propofol comes as emulsion. Okay? In this emulsion, you will find propofol, soybean oil, glycerol and egg lecithin. You see the presence of this egg lecithin sometimes may cause allergic reaction in some dogs, but not all dogs. There are very less fraction of drugs in which dogs uh, in which you will find this reaction. Another thing due to the presence of egg lecithin, it is prone to bacterial contamination. So if you are using uh, a vial and there are some unused propofol, then you can store it up to only 6 hours. If you have stored more than 6 hours, then you have to discard the whole bottle or you have to use it within 6 hours. Can you uh, tell why 6 hours? You see, in wound healing, I have told you the golden period is 6 to 8 hours. Golden period of wound is 6 to 8 hours. Okay, can you relate? In 6 to 8 hours, the bacterial population, the log phase starts, uh, the bacterial population explosion. So, this is why 6 hours. If you will relate like this, then the surgery becomes, uh, reading surgery becomes more fun. And uh, another thing, poor analysis, this is a having very poor analgesic, even you have induced uh, with the propofol and you have not given any analgesic, the uh, time will be doing some painful operation, the animal will wake up fast. Okay, so usually it is combined with alpha 2 agonists like xylazine or dexmedotomidine and also opioids. These two are very strong painkillers or strong analgesics that is why usually they are pre-sedated or pre uh, anesthetized with alpha 2 agonist or opiate, then they induced with the propofol. Okay. Next, unlike the barbiturates, they do not produce any damage when they are administered in perivascularly. The mechanism of action is same like barbiturate, GABA mediated neurosuppression. And remember, this, this is very important in field, practical sense, this is very important. When you will be inducing with the propofol, then there will be brief period of apnea. You do not need to worry. It lasts for maybe 1 to 2 seconds like that. You will take deep breath and there will be stoppage. Then it will back into the normal respiration. Okay, brief period apnea. Sometimes to avoid that, you have to divide in two doses and first dose you have to give rapid, second dose slowly. So that this apnea period can be minimized. Okay. Next, the cardiovascular depression like barbiturates, it also causes cardiovascular depression. And remember, it is also applicable to barbiturates. Okay. It is also applicable to barbiturates. All the short acting drugs or short acting barbiturates and also the propofol 
the action is short duration because of phenomenon of redistribution you see when you will be injecting drug first it will go into the cns okay it will attain the concentration in which there will be cns depression after that they will be redistributed to different uh, tissues and structures when they will be redistributed redistributed the effective concentration will be down and there will be recovery okay and this has come a uh, question in pcs examination of odisha pcs examination i think it was question of thiopental uh, uh, the mechanism through which the thiopental effect uh, i think like that uh, the question was like that the anesthetic effect uh, reduced due to the redistribution of drug and uh, this is also important in grey hounds if you are administering propofol the recovery time is longer because propofol is metabolized by cytochrome p450 enzymes present in liver okay and these grey hounds they metabol the this enzyme metabolize the propofol very slowly that is why it has longer recovery period and uh, it enhances arrhythmia effect of uh, epinephrine you see whenever you are performing surgery okay the adrenal gland will be stimulated it produces epinephrine and epinephrine is arrhythmogenic okay it produces arrhythmia and uh, if you are administered in propofol then it um, it enhances you see propofol inherently does not have any anti, uh, arrhythmic properties but it enhances the arrhythmia property of epinephrine and uh, this is one of the most safe drug to be used for c section it causes minimal sedation of the fetus now the dose rate for dog if you are not giving any pre anesthetic simply the propofol the dose rate is 6 to 8 mg per kg body weight but if you are pre giving with pre anesthetics the dose rate is half like 2 to 4 mg per kg body weight in case of horse horse always it is pre medicated then the, it is given at the dose rate of 2 to 4 mg per kg body weight intravenously all the drugs are intravenous next etomidate okay etomidate it was first synthesized in 1965 and first used in 10 years later 1975 it has same mechanism of action like barbiturates all the injective drugs most of them are similar action like gaba mediated neurosuppression and uh, unlike the barbiturates and the propofol they does not depress the cardiovascular and the respiratory system due to this property they are very good induction drug for the traumatized patients whenever there is emergency or the patients coming to emergency ward they are very good for the induction of anesthetics and they are very safe for c sections also and this is another one property which further adds its safety in traumatized patients like that inhibits adrenal steroidogenesis in dogs okay if you are inducing with etomidate it suppresses the adrenal gland nearly up to 3 hour okay so if you are doing surgery you know adrenal gland will be activated and the epinephrine will be secreted but it reduces this property so there won't be much stress response okay so that is why it makes a better drug for the induction in the traumatized patients and another thing you have to remember this is side effect or you can say adverse effect it can cause acute hemolysis because this drugs comes with propylene glycol in the injection itself you will find propylene glycol this propylene glycol can cause acute hemolysis but in therapeutic doses you may not find this phenomena nausea and vomiting there are also side effects most of the anesthetics uh, when are multiple doses are given or so, sometimes they have some nausea or anesthetic as side effects most of the anesthetic they have this side effect you don't need to worry about this next this one the last one alpha jalon or alpha xalon whatever you pronounce alpha xalon or alpha jalon it is a neurosteroid this is a steroid but it has some uh, neurosuppression properties that is a neurosteroid and unlike barbiturates they do not have any cumulative effect i have discussed about the thiopental which has cumulative effect it should not be administered before or after the barbiturates and this is same mechanism action gaba mediated neurosuppression and it has some good muscle relaxation properties and uh, unlike the barbiturates they do not have any uh, inflammation or the any tissue reaction or pain when they are injected perivascularly the dosage in case of dogs 
it is 3 mg per kg body weight when no preanesthetics are given and the dose rate is 2 mg per kg body weight when some preanesthetics are given. In cat whether you give preanesthetic or not, the dose rate is 5 mg per kg body weight. Remember all the injectable lancer which we have discussed they are given intravenously. Only this ex exception it can be given intramuscular only in cats. But remember if you will refer to the books it is bad if there is a factitious cat or there is some factitious cat then it is better to administer ketamine as intramuscular ketamine we will discuss ketamine in next class the dissociative anesthetics it is better to administer ketamine than the alpha gelon but remember alpha gelon can be given intramuscularly only in cats not in dogs there is also see alpha gelon comes alone it is 10 mg per ml concentration okay but it also comes in combination with another neurosteroid alpha gelon and alpha dolon the brand name is althesin okay this althesin is not used in dogs because it causes the anesthetic anaphylactic reaction it releases histamine okay so these are three important non barbiturates which are basically used routinely but uh, there are also others as i told in uh, earlier in this class that chloral hydride, magnesium sulfate, urethane, okay, they are used, they are not used in mainstream or they are not used for the sedation or the, for the anesthetization of the animals nowadays. Chloral hydride was used for anesthetization in large animals, okay, but they are not used right now and they are completely outdated. But if you are interested, you can read it from the books. So, this is all about the non barbiturate drugs. This is a very small class. In next class, we will go for the dissociative anesthetic, very important group of anesthetics, which is very commonly used. Now, they have replaced almost all type of anesthetics for induction. Okay, maintenance for maintenance, inhalant anesthetics are best. So, this is all about today. We will see you next class. Tata, bye bye. Take care.